the United Kingdom has presented detailed evidence, clearly laid out in charges of attempted murder against two agents of the Russian state. Russia has only sought to obfuscate through desperate fabrication. Only minutes after Theresa May clashed with the Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov in the United Nations in New York, the investigative website Bellingcat published photos and documents that appear to show one of the tourists, so apparently interested in Salisbury Cathedral's 123-metre spire and clock, is in fact a highly decorated colonel in Russian military intelligence called Anatoly Chepiga. Where does this leave Russian denials of involvement? Two weeks ago, the Salisbury poisoning suspects appeared on Russian television to claim they had been innocent tourists visiting the famous English cathedral. A week earlier, the police had published CCTV footage of the men in Salisbury and it charged them with attempted murder. The police believed their names, Ruslan Boshirov and Alexander Petrov, were pseudonyms, while the Prime Minister accused them of working for Russian military intelligence or the GRU. The GRU is a highly disciplined organisation with a well-established chain of command. So this was not a rogue operation. It was almost certainly also approved outside the GRU at a senior level of the Russian state. Now the investigative website Bellingcat has provided the strongest evidence yet of state involvement. It claims Mr Boshirov is really Colonel Anatoly Shapiga, aged 39, apparently a veteran of the war in Chechnya. It's believed this is him standing on the far right. It's also alleged he served in Ukraine and has been under GRU command for 17 years. The website claims Shapiga trained here at the prestigious Military Command Academy in Russia's Far East. It also says that he served in an elite special forces unit known as the Spetsnaz. And this academy's own alumni website has listed a Colonel Shapiga as being awarded a Hero of the Russian Federation only four years ago by President Putin's own decree. This was a similar ceremony two years ago for veterans of the war in Syria. Though we don't know if President Putin gave Shapiga his medal personally, he usually does. British officials haven't confirmed that the man on the left here is a GRU colonel though they certainly aren't denying it. And I understand that the true identities of both men are known. Not that this will help restore relations between Russia and the UK. The tensions over Salisbury all too evident in the UN Security Council this afternoon. Russia has only sought to obfuscate through desperate fabrication. Permanent members of the UN Security Council must not attack and undermine the international non-proliferation regimes and the institutions that underpin them. The question arises, if they do not want to cooperate, well, it doesn't mean that they have something to hide. We call upon London once again to start a constructive dialogue in order to get to the truth. British authorities are hoping today's claims will make it easier to build a case for new EU sanctions, but perhaps just as importantly, to convince any doubters that the men who poisoned the Skripals and who may have led to the death of Dawn Sturgis did so with Moscow's full knowledge. Jonathan, what are your sources telling you? Well, nobody in Whitehall I've spoken to is saying anything on the record because there is an ongoing police investigation, though one official said the mood was, quotes, upbeat. Uh, they're certainly not denying that uh, one of these uh, alleged suspects is uh, a colonel in Russian military intelligence. For all we know, they may indeed have helped supply some of this information. I think hanging over this whole story has been this claim by the Prime Minister that the Russian state almost certainly uh, ordered uh, this attack. And that phrase almost certainly has always been hanging in the air. And I think any evidence that points to a, a GRU colonel with 17 years experience, uh, serving in Chechnya and Ukraine and receiving a Medal of Honor from uh, Vladimir Putin makes that connection between the Russian state and what happened in Salisbury that much closer and that much easier, I think, 
to, to make the case with our European allies uh, for more sanctions to prevent attacks like this happening again.